Okay, good day mga kapatid. So, welcome to our General Physics 2 class. And today, we are going to solve uh, some problems regarding capacitors. Okay? So, um, this is the learning competencies that would that we would be discussing for this lecture. For, but before we start, let us recall some concepts that we have um, tackled on our previous discussion. Okay? So, we all know that capacitor is an electronic component or an electrical component. And it is composed of uh, two conducting plates or conducting material. Uh, separated by an insulating material, which we call as dielectric. Okay, this capacitor, um, its main uh, function is to store electric potential energy and electrical charge. Okay, in order for us to measure how much energy a capacitor could hold, okay, we use this two formulas: C is equals to Q over V, or Q is equals to CV. For C is um, our capacitance, it is measured in terms of farads, okay? So, if ever na gusto po natin i-rearrange yung ating formula and we are going to find the magnitude of the charge, so you could use this expression, C is equals, uh, Q is equals to C multiplied by V. Okay, since we have different types of capacitors, okay, namely electrolytic, ceramic, paper, film, mica, and etc. So, that the difference between those types of um, capacitors is the material used or the dielectric use. So in order for, get, for us to get the total or the capacitance that specific capacitor could hold, okay, varying uh, the material used, so we could use this equation. C is equals to K, uh, where K is our dielectric constant. E epsilon naught is uh, the permittivity of free space. E equal to siya sa 8.85 times 10 raised to negative 12. Area is our plate area and uh, divided by with the distance of uh, between the plates. Okay, so if ever po na gusto natin kunan yung pagbabago ng effect, if babaguhin po natin yung dielectric constant, okay, you could use this expression in order for us to get the capacitance. So CK is equals to K, C naught. In terms of uh, getting the voltage, Okay, VK or V sub K is supposed to be not over K. Okay, we also have equations for energy, okay, in terms of capacitance. So, you could use this uh, two formulas, three rather, okay, so itong one half QV, okay, one half CV squared and one half Q squared over 2C. This expression is uh, the unit to be used is in terms of joules. Okay, we also have supplementary formula, okay, um, just like energy density, represented by lowercase u, and it is equals to one half epsilon naught multiplied by the electric field squared. So the unit used for energy density is joule per meter cube. Yeah. Okay, so since na recall na po natin yung ating mga equations to be used, in finding the capacitance, so let's try that with some of our prepared problems, okay? So, first problem, how much charge can be stored on a 100 microfarad capacitor when placed across a 12-volt battery? How much energy is stored in the capacitor, okay? So, if you want, you may pause the video para masagutan niyo po yung problem, okay? So, ano po yung unang hinahanap? Ang unang unknown po natin is the uh, charge, okay? The value of our charge. So, pwede po natin gamitin yung equation na Q is equals to C multiplied by V. Sinahanap po natin ay charge, okay? So, ang value ng C natin is 100 micro Okay, which means times 10 raised to negative 6 in scientific notation, farad, multiplied by the value of our potential, which is 12, 12 volts. Okay, so Q is equal to 1.2 times 10 raised to negative 3 coulombs. Okay, so yun po yung ating unang unknown. Second po is um, how much energy okay, is stored in this capacitor. So we are going to get U. 
Okay? Electric potential energy. So, ano kaya ang pwede natin gamitin given uh, C is equals to 100 microfarad and V is equals to 12 volts. So, pwede natin magamit yung equation na 1 half CV squared. Okay? So, 1 half value of C is 100 times 10 raised to negative 6 multiplied by the voltage 12 volts squared. So, U is equals to 7.2 times 10 raised to negative 3 joules. Okay? Next problem. Okay, pause if you want to uh, answer this problem. So, a 100 coulomb of charge is stored when a 20 volt is applied across a capacitor. What voltage is required to store 300 coulomb of charge? And um, how much charge can be stored if um, we are going to uh, change the voltage to 150 volt uh, applied? Okay? So, dun muna tayo sa A. So, pwede tayong gumamit dito ng ratio and proportionality. Okay, so Q1, since pareho naman yung makakompute nating capacitance. So, Q1 is equals to V1. So, same lang yung makakompute na capacitance dyan. It's equals to Q2 V2. Okay, yung Q1 natin, equal po siya sa 100 coulomb. So, ito yung Q1 natin. Tapos, yung voltage niya daw, pagka ganun, is 20 volts. Equal po siya sa 300 coulomb. Tapos, ano daw yung voltage kapag ka same ng capacitance, V2. So, cross multiplication. Ang makukuha po natin V2 is 600 divided by 100. V2 is equals to 60 volts. Okay, what if binago po natin yung, or what if the voltage given is 150, okay? So, ano daw yung uh, number ng charge na pwede ma-store, okay? Given the same capacitance. Okay, same capacitance, Q is equals to CV, okay? So, C, ganun po ulit, 100 Coulomb divided by 20 volts is equals to Q2 over 150. So, cross multiplication po ulit. So, 20 Q2 is equals to 100 times 150 divided by both side by 20. So, Q2 is equals to 750 Okay, if ever na gusto po natin kunin yung capacitance, okay, so pwedeng isa lang yung gamitin natin. So, Q over V. Yan. So, 100 divided by 20. So, equal po siya sa 5 para. Okay, ganun din po. 100 divided by 25. 300 divided by 6. 5. Okay? 100 divided by 25. Tapos, um, 750 divided by 105. So, it proves that pare-pareho po yung value ng capacitance. Okay? So, now let's move on with our third and last problem. A capacitor is made up of square plates or square metal plates with side length of 3 cm separated by a distance of 1 mm with air between the plates. The capacitor has a voltage of 100 volts. And it is not connected to a battery. So A, calculate the capacitance. B, what is the new capacitance if an insulator with dielectric constant 4.0 is added between the plates? And C, what is the new voltage? Okay, so let us uh, indicate our given. So para mas madali natin makita. So given tayo na so, kailangan muna natin tong i-convert into SI unit meters. So, 0 0.03 meters. 
And um, since square naman po siya, ang area ng square is uh, S squared lang. So, L squared. Yan. So, 0 0.03 squared. And then, um, what is our next given? So, the distance between our plates is 1 millimeter. So, convert ulit natin sa meters. So, 1 times 10 raised to negative 3. Okay? And then, it has a voltage of 100 volts. Okay? So, calculate the capacitance. Uh, what is the new capacitance when our dielectric constant is uh, 4.0? And then, what is the new voltage? Okay? So, una natin gawin is to compute the capacitance, okay, without the dielectric constant. So, given uh, the equation, epsilon naught multiplied by A divided by D. Okay? So, ang epsilon naught is equal sa 8.85 times 10 raised to negative 12. Ang area natin, okay, 0 0.03 squared over the distance, which is 1 times 10 raised to negative 3. So, makocompute po natin Capacitance without the effect of dielectric constant is equals to 7.965 times 10 raised to negative 12 pico farad. Ah, times 10 raised to negative 12 farad pala muna. May farad. Okay, kung i-convert po natin to in a simpler expression, since times 10 raised to negative 12, CO is equals to 7.965 picofarad. Okay? So next, yung may effect naman of um, dielectric constant. Okay? So, uh, B. Pwede natin gamitin yung expression na CK is equals to K. Uh, KCO. Okay? So, yung K natin equal po siya sa 4, tapos yung compute natin CO, which is 7.965 times 10 base 2, negative 12. Okay? So, CK is equals to 32 approximately. Okay? 32 times 10 raised to negative 12 farads or CK is equals to 32 pico farad. So, inano ko na to ha, um, kinonvert, parang niround off ko na into nearest tenths, which is uh, 8 times 10 raised to negative 12. So, approximately, CK is equals to 32 times 10 raised to negative 12. Okay? And next, ang ano natin is what, what is the new voltage when uh, there is the effect of dielectric constant. So, pwede natin pong gamitin yung V sub K is equals to V naught over K. Where V naught is our 100 volts here and then divided by 4. Okay? So, V K or V sub K is equals to 25 volts. Okay? So, if ever mga kapatid, you have questions or clarifications, do not hesitate to message me. So, um, that would be all for this lecture. So I hope you had learned something, especially the techniques in computing for um, capacitance, energy stored in a capacitor, and also capacitance with the relation or the effect of dielectric constant. Okay, so that would be all for this lecture. Goodbye and thank you. See you again.